Welcome to Big Mike's Real Reviews. This is Big Mike, and I just got back from the theater from seeing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This movie has been a long time coming for Marvel MCU fans at this point because of COVID and, you know, reshoots, delays, everything like that. We've been waiting for this movie. It was actually supposed to come out before Spider-Man No Way Home, and it didn't. They had to even change Spider-Man No Way Home, you know, because of the delays and how they had to switch around the uh, Phase 4 schedule. So we finally got the movie, and now it's time for my non-spoiler review. There will be no spoilers in this review, and I'm going to get right to it. So, Sam Raimi directs Benedict Cumberbatch, of course, reprises his role as Doctor Strange, as he does wonderfully in every other role that he ever does. Um, what did I think of this movie? First, I'm going to give my rating. I would probably give this movie an 8 out of 10. I really did enjoy this movie. It was a really fun movie. Very like like popcorn. It was almost like, you know, a summer popcorn movie. Like you want to go here. It was good action. The action was paced pretty well. Um, it was kind of like a nonstop roller coaster ride. Um, so I really did enjoy this movie. Again, I would give it probably an 8 out of 10. And without spoilers, um, there's just so much to unpack in this movie. There's so much to unpack. Um, but I will say this, uh, getting to like some of the bad points, right? It, the movie was a little messy, a little choppy. It kind of reminded you of like, kind of like the campy old school uh, superhero movies. Not as bad though. I mean, it was still it was still very well done. Sam Raimi directs, uh, so you know we have some horror elements there. Of course, we're going to get you know a lot of laughs in there as well because Sam Raimi likes to do you know comedic horror, um, and of course. You know, well, I don't, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to spoil it. I almost dropped a little spoiler, but I don't want anything to ruin anyone's experience at this point. Um, but there, there were issues with the movie, but I think there was a lot more good in this movie than there was bad. Um, if you can avoid spoilers at all costs, please do so. That's why I had to, you know, retract <laughs> a statement I was about to say. Because um, unfortunately, social media spoiled me on Sunday. Um, I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and someone just like posted spoilers right there on my feed or retweeted. And I'm like, oh, wow, thanks for uh, ruining that for me. So I want to try and keep everyone's experience, you know, very fresh at this point i think uh most marvel fans will enjoy this movie um i can see people saying you know bad things about it um and i would understand but overall i really enjoyed it again like i said i get i gave it an eight out of ten I, I really enjoyed it i sat there for the two hours and six minutes and had a lot of fun with this movie it goes by pretty fast as well this is this is one of the shorter mcu films at like i said two hours and six minutes so it doesn't drag on very much there was a couple of points in the movie more so i think in between the first and second acts i think there was kind of like a slow point but then after that, you know, the movie picked right back up and we jumped right back into the story. Like I said, it was kind of a roller coaster ride where it didn't really stop. And I really did enjoy this movie. Get out there, see the movie. If you can avoid spoilers at all costs, do so. With that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, give this video a like. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of all my latest content. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.